Hey everybody, welcome back to the Wolf Pit. Today, I'm making a low carb Supreme pizza. That's right, you can still have pizza on a low carb diet and there's absolutely no flour of any kind and no cauliflower in the crust. This is real easy to make and I cannot believe how much it tastes just like pizza with a flour crust. So let's get started. Let's get started by making the crust or faux dough. In a large bowl, combine four large eggs with Italian seasoning, granulated garlic, granulated onion, and full fat cream cheese. Now using a hand mixer or stand mixer, mix until everything is smooth. For a full printable copy of this recipe and many more, visit thewolfpit.com. Once everything is smooth and well combined, add freshly grated Parmesan cheese and freshly grated mozzarella cheese. Now give it a good mix until everything's well incorporated. Now spread the mixture out on a cookie sheet lined with a silicone nonstick mat. You want to smooth it out into a nice even layer. And you want to smooth it out all the way to about one inch from the side of the pan to allow for a little bit of expansion. Now this goes into a preheated 375 degree oven for 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, the crust has turned nice and golden brown, and now we can build our pizza. Now I'm going to use the Raoul's pizza sauce, the same sauce I used in my last pizza video. And it only has one carb per serving, and it's really good. And you can add as little or as much pizza sauce as you like. After all, you are the boss of your pizza sauce. Now start adding the toppings. And like I said, I'm going to be making a supreme pizza, so I'm going to be adding a lot of meat and a lot of vegetables, but you make your pizza the way you like it. I'm going to start with a layer of pepperoni, followed by a layer of cooked Italian sausage, Virginia smoked ham, crispy fried bacon, and finally some cooked ground beef. And now a very light layer of freshly grated mozzarella cheese. Obviously I'm going very light on the cheese on top since the crust is cheese. I'm just adding just enough cheese to hold everything together. And now for the veggies. I'm going to start off with some diced onion, bell pepper, and mushrooms. And if I had my druthers, I would add black olives and anchovies too, but my wife and daughter don't like them, so I made the sacrifice for them. Now this goes back into a 375 degree oven until the cheese is melted and nice and bubbly and the crust is nice and golden brown. Doesn't that look like a real crust pizza? It definitely smells like one. It smells incredible. And there you have it, a low carb supreme pizza with all the taste and goodness of a real pizza. Yes, I know, I should not be cutting the pizza on the silicone mat, but it's the same mat that I used when I cut the lasagna noodles and ruined it then, so it's already ruined, so I'm gonna to continue to cut on it until it falls apart. I wanna be 100% honest with you guys. Had I not made this pizza myself, I would have had no idea this crust was not real. The pizza itself was absolutely delicious, just like eating a regular pizza. And believe it or not, the outside crust was crispy. If you'd like to help support the Wolf Pit, consider being a patron. You can pledge as little as a dollar a month, that's only $12 for the whole year, or you can pledge more. That's up to you. Either way, every little bit's appreciated and helps me produce more high quality videos more often for you, the people. Thank you all very much for watching. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe 
and I'll see you soon.